Hi, Mariana. Um, and I'm actually answering. Diego was actually uh, was actually responding to this post too. And Mariana, this this question you got about the the keys and the locksmith of your door um, in the one minute job that takes um, you know 60 euros to do one minute, and then and then the whole thing about the translators, you know, why that you know why does the locksmith get you know, a lot of money and the um, and the um, the translators get peanuts? Okay, let's say it that way. Um, you know, for a small job and all that kind of stuff. I, the first thing that I really think you should do is you need to go watch my video that I did recently on, it's called How to Get Out of the Language Industry Rut Version 2. Um, the version 1 I did at home wasn't so cool, the lighting wasn't so great and stuff. So I did read it, I think it was still at home, but I had it, you know. The first, the first one I actually got up, uh, you know, in the morning I saw this thing and I want to respond on LinkedIn. It's like I didn't even do my hair and, you know, the lighting kind of was real crap and stuff. So I, I redid it with a better shirt, you know, after taking a shower a couple of days later, try to improve the lighting a bit. I should actually do it again here in a, in a rest, you know, like I'm doing much better, better lighting. Okay. But, um, but it's the language, it's how to get out of the language, language visibility rut version two. I was either how to get out of the language visibility rut or it's how to avoid it getting into the language visibly right i've said that even one of them i think i had just both because it's kind of that's it's either preventative or corrective okay um and in there um i talk about what i want to do i want to take that video and just slice up this section out of two make another separate video because this is really key here um and it's really important for this part here um but i'll mention it here um and, and maybe i actually will um you know I'll probably redo this whole thing into another video or I'll section off the other one. I'll see that. But I think this is really key to answer this question about the peanut price versus the, you know, the, 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 the locksmith, which is more than the locksmith. Okay. So that video talks about many other different trades that are servicing things. And usually all of them, whether it be doctors, car mechanics, plumbers, locksmiths. I didn't talk to locksmiths, but this is another example. Um, dentists, uh, pharmacists, um, uh, hairdressers, um, you know, everybody. All the and my father was a medical technologist. He's the one, you know, the, he's the one that does extraction of fluids from your body. So either taking a blood sample or it takes a urine sample, you know, and then they analyze it and they give it to the doctor to to analyze, okay, and to make a diagnosis. Every one of those services, including the locksmith, are providing a service and in time of need. Okay, and and what and a, a lawyer too, a lawyer, same example. Okay, um, and med medical doctors and dentists and everybody. They are providing service to for a problem, for a problem. Okay, and the problem is urgent, or not always urgent, but it's 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 a problem. It's such a problem that you need to get it fixed. Or you need to prevent another problem from happening, from getting sick, okay, or from breaking down, okay. Um, so these problems are part of stopping you from doing daily life, okay, from some point of view. So that's why it costs so much money because they charge their services and they charge the service based on the time, and it costs a lot of money. Go look at the paint shop of your car dealer. Forget your car fix. It's like astronaut because they're providing your service to have your car back in order. So the insurance will continue to insure the car, okay. Um, especially if you got a new car or a car that's not you know, not old enough, but they all and they all, none of them have a problem explaining what they do. This is just hey, this works. It's like this done. Now, and I did say in, the, in the, that video, and I explained a little more. People in the translation industry, and 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 I'm not going to deal with the uh, are bad at selling themselves, just bad. Okay, and there's a whole history of doing this. Just everybody's bad at some selling the services stuff. Now, some are not bad. Some are really good at it. I've been really good. I've charged full price and stuff. You know, I don't. I don't deal with the peanut prices. I just you know, people come to me when I when they want me to fix the problems that others have screwed up. Okay, so including machine translations. I mean, I just I fix up the real messes, or I help people prevent them from going into real messes. So, um, so it's not always peanuts. It's if you know how to charge your value, and not everybody knows how to charge your value. Okay, um, and yeah, it's tougher, but that's where you get good clients, and that's where they come back. Um, and I've turned away customers too. Hey, you want that peanut price? I'll tell you to do. And I told people to go. You want the peanut price here? You want that in two days? Twenty-five thousand words, English to Russian, um, in the game. I'll, I'll give you the names of people. I'll give you the names of companies. But you know what? You'll be back. And you know what? 
they did it the other way and then it came back. <laughs> so, so it's that way. And they, then they understood that you had to give more time. So, But this is reality. So go watch that video about that because that's going to help explain a little bit more. Um, it's near the end of the video where I talk about Watch the whole video because it, it kind of gives the whole language visually right. Anyways, but at the end of it, I talk about my cousin whose comments about the whole thing of, and why is language not a problem? Okay. Because you're going to say, yeah, but it's a problem. They need the translation. No, they don't need the translation. It's not critical. It's not critical for life. Okay. Um, not for like a mechanic or a hairdresser. You got to, you know, it's just, it's just a convenience for them to be able to sell the product. Okay. But they can still do it in the other, in the original language because they want to globalize stuff, but it's not, it's not necessary. It's not like they're going to die or, or stuff like all these other trades, these other things, you know, all these other trades. It's like you can't function if you don't do these things because you, you can't drive your car. You can't get to work. OK. And if you can't if you don't if you can't unplug that toilet, you know, and why do you why do the people that collect your garbage? You know, hey, in the United States, people that collect the garbage make more money than most people do. And they make great money because they're providing service. You got to have you, your garbage starts stacking up outside of your house and stuff. Hey, there, but just got complaining. People pay, you know. So this this um this topics are like really important. And so the value of providing a service that is critical, critical, really essential, essential, essential. Um, hey, the cost is there. Time for money. But hey, we're just in this price word kind of thing, and this whole price word thing is stupid. Okay, it, 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 I don't I don't charge price word stuff. Well, I do for the price word just for that part, but that's the three part part of doing the the TEP translation and approval. Hey, then I add on to all the extra professional services, terminology building, terminology thing, uh, project management, DTP. Uh, hey, I just stack them all up. People pay for it because they see the value. Um, so this this is the thing. If you if you if you dare to sell your value. And it takes time to build that clientele up, and you get to prove it. Okay, I'm not saying it's easy, but I've you know had a few things that allow me to do that. And yeah, I did have a, I did help on my business card to say that I was an ice nine with thousand audit for enterprise accounts. That kind of is like a gold mine, <laughs> that business card. So that too, but you know, pitching too I was good at pitching. Um, so that helps too. And I give a lot of objects. And I give a couple other. Pit Go read my other channel on my playlist. Go read that video. Watch that video. It's in my language technology or language linguistics or something uh, playlist. But um, yeah, it'll be in the language technology playlist and probably also in my my business tips or playlist or and or my uh, thought leadership tips. OK, I could probably in two or three different playlists. But the other place to look at for is um, I've given some things on how to pitch and how to uh, certain types of, um, you know, how to present and how to pitch things and how to show your value and all that. And I get a bunch of videos in my thought leadership uh, playlist on my, my YouTube channel about that. So, you know, just go look at those and some, you know, they kind of vary in length. So, um, but you know, this whole thing is really key. Uh, and, but you need to realize that in coming back to the original video, that language service is not critical. Okay. The only time a language service is really critical, I'll tell you, is when, you know, um, a company is shipping a product, and and the day the day of they say, oh, we need this in twenty five languages on the website, and we need the translation yesterday, then that's essential, okay, and then they pay price, okay, and I've been there, yeah, I, I've I've serviced that, things. been that many times, and then sometimes I say no, like the the Russian one, the English Russian, I just no. Go deal with the peanuts, peanut providers, um, and they come back. They, um, but you gotta know how to sell your value, and that's hard. Okay, um, but hey, there are people who do it, and I've done it, and it works. I'm not saying it's easy. Okay, I'm saying you gotta really, you know, you gotta, you gotta justify it. But, um, but there are a lot of people in this whole thing, and this comes back to Diego's car thing is how many locksmiths there are, the first how many translators there are on the on the market, in the local market and stuff. It's very true. You don't have many locksmiths. You don't have many plumbers. They're hard. Plumbers and actually plumbers and and uh, I like a, a house fixers and stuff and painters. They're hard to get because they're because they're busy all the time. Electricians. Hey, try to find an electrician. Hey, it's hard. It's hard. They're they're, they're so busy doing doing the quotes and stuff. And people do work on your oil heaters and your heating and sister home. It's hard to get them. You know, they they cost a lot. So all these trades, 
actually look at how they do it. Look how they do it, how they price it. And the translation industry knows how to do this. And, and I get a whole other thing on too on um, why we're bad at translation solution selling and stuff and, and all that. And I did another video about that too. Um, so, um, and I try to give examples how this needs to be done. So, okay. So look at those. Uh, and, and I think it's true. There is a, there is a, uh, the, you know, the whole translation market, if you look at the overall industry of how many translators there are in the overall industry, back in 2000, I read reports from the year commission, I, there was an estimate of 300,000 translators in the world. Okay. Now, and, and I read reports, I, I gather from multiple resources, from multiple things, and, they, and we looked at it and stuff. So, but uh, look at, you know, and you could estimate the size of it. Scroll in pros.com, look at Translation Cafe, look at the number of users. That tells you how big the number is. And that's only a part of the industry, not everybody. So look at all that. Um, but hey, it, it, it's a multiple of all these things. Take a look at those couple of videos and see. Okay? Have a good day.